Well, our analysis has shown that a lot of the credit does actually go to government policies. So it's important to highlight that these policies, since they were um, implemented within the PPC Dam sort of framework, they're not only attributed, they're not only the result of an effort of the Ministry of the Environment, but of that novel approach of integrating effort across ministries. So what we've shown so far is that the policies are actually effective in combating deforestation, that they did significantly contribute to that deforestation slowdown. Although we've also found that agricultural output prices affect deforestation as well. So the decline in prices may have contributed to the slowdown. However, as prices started to increase, the reason why deforestation did not follow that trend is most likely linked to the policies that helped contain that effect. Yes, yeah, so what we do is we apply, um, we use econometric um, techniques that allow us to isolate those effects, not only of prices and policies, but also of other potential drivers of um, deforestation. So the idea is that the sort of an analysis that we conduct, it is tailored to precisely isolate that policy effect. We use different, different techniques that are adequate to different types of policies. Well, so far, we've shown that the conditional rural credit policy that was implemented in 2008 did have a, a significant effect. And this was implemented at a time when deforestation was already um, comparatively low. So that effect, although in absolute terms appears to be small, it's actually an impressive effect. Um, although there are other implications of that study, particularly that there are um, credit constraints in the Amazon, so that highlights the need for the economic environment in a region to be taken into account during policy making. Um, we're also completing a study now about the effect of command and control efforts uh, that were implemented starting in mostly in 2004. And so far that has had a very large absolute impact on the deforestation slowdown. So it appears that command and control efforts are key in curbing deforestation. We have an ongoing project on the effect of protected areas, so I don't have results for that yet. We have the um, impression that the thing with command and control is that it very significantly raises the cost of clearing forest. So when you're fining the deforesters, when you're implementing embargoes, and when you're actively going on site, capturing the machinery, capturing the illegal goods. You know, we have, it seems to us and our results suggest that the deterrent effect of command and control policies is what actually is happening on ground. It, it helps show these policymakers what is actually working and what works more or less than other policies, so in that sense, definitely. And again, it highlights the need for that economic environment to be taken into account because homogeneous policies, so policies that are implemented at a federal level or even in all of the legal Amazon or Amazon biome, they may actually have very different effects depending on each municipality's or each region's reality. So our work does show that economic, the economic environment must be taken into account by policymakers during policymaking design. In our um, evaluation of the rural credit policy, we found that the, the restriction in credit led to a restriction in deforestation. That suggests that agents operating in the Amazon biome use those financial resources to move into new areas. So if you extend that logic and you consider that you're injecting financial resources into that area, if you don't somehow find a way to, to restrain that extensive expansion, you could actually be pushing for greater deforestation. So the idea here is if you understand that, that e the economic dynamics and the economic scenario, you can actually have an integrated approach in which you can increase the financial resources, but also ensure that there is some, some deterrent effect preventing those producers from moving into the new areas. And ideally, they would be using those financial resources to increase productivity in their, in their region.
Exactly. You would have to have some sort of conditionality. That's precisely the idea. And with resolution, the, the, the resolution that we assess, it was exactly a conditional approach. So the, the idea here is not that the payment for the environmental services shouldn't occur, but that they should occur within a framework in which there is still command and control efforts to ensure that they are being used effectively.